Okay, thanks everyone for joining this mini learning session on adding uh, points of interest to OpenStreetMap with maps.me. Uh, this was going to introduce an app for offline navigation that you may or may not be familiar with and show you how you can use it in addition to getting around SANS internet, um, also use it to quickly and easily add points of interest to OpenStreetMap. So why would you want to do this? Um, we'll talk to anybody on the JS team, and I'm sure you've heard this a ton. Uh, we love open data. OpenStreetMap is open data. Um, having it available as a detailed repository of data about our world uh, makes our lives easier, whether it's responding to disasters or simply getting around. Um, it results in better routing. Um, so a lot of the apps, like Waze, that you might use uh, for driving around uh, rely on OpenStreetMap to get you places. Um, it results in better map-based tools. Uh, OpenStreetMap data uh, lies behind a lot of the other apps and, and tools that you use these days. And it gives you power. It lets you map what's important to you. Um, so instead of you know, Google deciding uh, what types of shops and restaurants matter, um, you can take the map into your own hands and map uh, what is interesting and important to you, whether it's uh, childcare, our parks, or accessibility related, um, or just your, your favorite local coffee shops. Um, Maps.me is uh, available for multiple platforms. You can download it uh, either to your iPhone or to your Android device through those respective uh, app stores. You can also download the APK file and install it manually on your Android phone that way. Um, once you have downloaded the app, you can also download maps uh, so that you can view them offline without an internet connection. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, the screen on the left there is the screen you see when you open the, the app. And in the lower right-hand corner, uh, there's a menu uh, option. And if you click that, it'll expand out the lower bar. And one of the options will be to download maps there in the center. After clicking that, um, you can do one of two things. You can download new maps. Um, so in the lower right-hand corner, there'll be a, a plus and a blue circle. And if you click that, it'll take you to a list of the countries of the world. Um, and some countries have, are small enough or have little enough map data that you can download the entire country. Um, others, like you can see here, the United Kingdom and the United States have multiple uh, sub-maps within them. So in this case, I'll, um, I've clicked on United States of America, and then you can see it takes you to a list of states, and you can download um, individual states. And some of those, the same as the countries, can be downloaded in a single file. Some uh, are split into multiple files, and you need to choose the area once selecting the state. You can also add maps of an area. So on uh, my phone, when I was taking these screenshots, I had already downloaded maps in Canada, uh, Grenada, and the US. Um, and then if I wanted to download additional maps in the United States, I can click that icon. And here it's showing me I have downloaded uh, areas of Arizona, Florida, Maryland, Texas, and Virginia. Um, and maybe I want to download additional areas of Virginia because there's five total. I only have one. So I click that and it takes me through and then I can see the subdivisions that um, Virginia has been divided into to make uh, reasonable size downloads for each of the areas. Okay, um, so now um, when you are editing OpenStreetMap within the app, it helps if you have created an OpenStreetMap account and then linked it. Um, the same way you got to the download maps option, there's a settings option. After clicking the menu icon in the lower right, it expands that uh, menu bar, and you can click the gear for the settings. In the top of the settings list, there'll be an option for OpenStreetMap profile, and you can click into that and then sign in with your username and password. And this allows uh, those edits to be credited to you so that you can, they link to you. Um, you can sign up uh, for OpenStreetMap at openstreetmap.org and reach out to myself or anybody on the JS team, and we'd be more than happy to give you a quick walkthrough tutorial of, of getting started on OpenStreetMap. Adding data to the map uh, is very simple. 
Uh, again, uh, we expand out that, that lower menu bar. And on the far left, there's an option to add a place to the map. Um, and after, after clicking that, um, it'll take you to just the map screen and there'll be a small uh, black cross in the middle. And this is where the point that you're adding will appear on the map. Uh, so you'll want to, to drag that so that it uh, is over the location of the map that you want to add the point. Because where you're adding the point might not match up perfectly with your GPS or with um, what you're seeing. So after dragging it to the appropriate area, you click done in the top right corner. Um, and then it will take you to a screen where you can start typing in what it is you want to map. Uh, so there's lots of options and it will pre-populate based on accepted um, OpenStreetMap tags. So here are just some options of things you might uh, add to the map that probably won't exist in many areas. Uh, you could add like a drinking water fountain or a post box or something like a bench. Um, and all these are you know, useful things to have whether you're you know, trying to quench your thirst in the airport, uh, trying to mail a letter, or simply want a better idea of um, where you can rest and maybe read a book in a park. Um, after uh, selecting one of those options, it will uh, take you to a page where you can fill in additional details. In some cases, like if you're tagging just a drinking water fountain, uh, there won't be any additional details. You, a drinking water fountain probably won't have a name, but if you're adding, for instance, your local coffee shop or something of that nature, um, you might need to add in the name of the place. And that's, uh, that's really it. That's, it's quite simple. Um, it's easy to add. I've used this before in airports uh, when you know, the Starbucks or the, the various other coffee shops aren't mapped. I'll throw them in there so I can find them more easily next time. Um, and it's an easy, quick way to, to add additional details about the places you, you live and travel. If there's any questions, um, we'd be more than happy to answer them now. You can type them into the chat or unmute yourself and and speak them. Okay, well, thank you everyone for joining. Um, there is a updated uh, link to the survey uh, for this session in the calendar invite and the link to the slides is there as well. And as always, feel free to reach out by email or other means with any questions, comments, etc. Thanks for joining.